Hey guys, Ben Paint here and today we are back once again for another video at Team Sport Bristol and today we are doing an Elite GP1 event and the lights are about to get underway and we are off and here you can see we were starting in last position. I'll get more into that before we actually get through more of the footage but here you can see from the start really trying to go around the outside of Sam Oakley and Arthur Langley just trying to push my way up the inside there a little bit of contact with Harley Smith but we managed to maintain the position up into 11th place but unfortunately I didn't defend well enough and immediately off the start of the race we've lost all the positions that we gained and here you will see for the rest of the race this is sort of the battle for the whole video with the three of us sort of going around in a trio there is a lot of cart parity at the moment at Bristol and a lot of the carts really aren't up to the correct standard really to what they should be and it's really causing for a bit of a disappointing event but nevertheless we did have fun in this one this was in fact the last session so the GP1 event in this evening was set up in two different sessions so you had a 25 minute race followed by a 20 minute race and this is the footage from the 20 minute race at the end of the evening now in the 25 minute race i was positioned in about eighth position and the car just wasn't up to standard it had no brakes i had to swap it out and i just didn't really enjoy the evening from then on but we do manage to get a decent ish cart now at this point one that functions correctly and we were on our way to try and track down the others that had sort of broken ahead of us across the first couple of laps so we come across the line there 40.493 and we do skip ahead straight away just to get into a bit more of the action don't really want to watch me just driving around in a train alongside the others so here coming up behind the back of Arthur here through the Mickey Mouse section trying to take a nice clean run through this section just so I can close up as much as I possibly could you see losing a lot of traction coming out of the Mickey Mouse section but on the bottom hairpin really getting a nice tight line here and there's a bit of a kerfuffle up ahead with Sam Oakley and he causes him to go into the barrier and that opens the gap up the inside there as Arthur goes wide I'm able to nick the position off him up into 12th place so now I'm one position from the back quite happy with the clean overtake that I was able to make really big gap up the inside and I was able to just push on and try and proceed my way up the pack so we do actually come across the line again but instead of that we do skip forward because there was some more train driving going on you can see our fastest lap so far 39.307 which is really not as fast as we want to be our last lap being a 39.527 so really being held up and my cart wasn't really up to standard to where I wanted it to be you can see here Sam takes a bit of an unconventional line I try and look up the inside but I just didn't quite make it stick and it was a bit of a bold move for me to try and pull off there but it did compromise me and it causes Arthur to go around the outside of the big ramp. I tried to keep myself stuck in here just to try and go wheel to wheel with him. We're going side by side through the top section, some really clean racing here. I do a little bit of a switch back and try and get a clean run going down the ramp which I actually managed to pull off. I go side by side with him and that gives me enough room going into the big right hander that I'm able to get ahead and maintain the position. But unfortunately you can see ahead how much time we've lost and you can see that in the lap time but once again from doing this and getting ahead of Arthur and sort of maintaining that gap I was able to put in some decent laps which you're now about to see so as we go round here I would like to say if you are new here could you please hit the subscribe button as the channel's been growing more and more and I really do appreciate it so much and if you are enjoying the video could you also hit the like button down below as it really does motivate me to make more and more videos I haven't made too many recently I haven't been casting as much I've been on holiday and also I've just been trying to save a bit of money ready for next season I want to give you guys a big season coming into next year I've got a couple of things lined up that I'm really excited to get on with and I still have another video coming later this year it might be my last video of the year so I hope you'll stick around ready for that but jumping back into the footage we come across the line now our last lap of 39.117 so with a bit more clean air I'm able to get down a bit closer to the 38 second mark which is around benchmark pace at the moment and mid 38 for Bristol at this time in these conditions so I was really just trying to get my head down here just trying to race as cleanly as I possibly could I can see up ahead Sam Oakley who obviously was up ahead of me he did have a bit of a defective car as well so I was taking it with a pinch of salt but I was just trying to catch up to him looking over my shoulder there and I realized I pulled a bit of a gap on Arthur so I was really happy with this I knew I had some strong pace compared to some of the other drivers but it just wasn't quite my evening so we come across the lane there really consistent at 39.131 so not 
quite the fastest as I want it to be, but really looking just to try and get my head down and try and catch up to the man in the blue suit. So here you can see really leaning forward into the car, trying to get the weight off the back tyres going up the ramp, trying to gain a bit more speed obviously. It's all a placebo, it doesn't really help that much. I'm just trying to stay as tidy as possible through the top two hairpins just to try and get some good traction coming out and down the ramp them following on into the big right hander it was very loose not a lot of grip on this evening it was really cold so i was really struggling to find a lot of pace but there you can see broken into the 38 second mark now a 38.987 which i was quite happy with and i knew i had a bit more pace in me you can see the gap up ahead really starting to close down i believe sam was being held up by the person ahead of them so i was just trying to capitalize on this and try and catch up to the guys ahead and sort of make it a three-way battle instead of just them two going hammer and tongs. You can see everyone else off in the distance sort of just racing away. They all having a good jolly time. There was sort of a battle for the bottom three or four here that I really didn't want to be in last place. So we come round the bottom right hander once again just trying to get as close to those apex as I possibly could. Minimising the track distance as I always say. Coming across the line very consistent once again at 38.982 which was a decent lap once again. So really you can see here through the Mickey Mouse section how much time they're losing how much time I'm able to gain and I was really getting confused by Sam over his line here he's going a bit of an unconventional way so going really wide to the right hand side and then sort of switching it back to get a better run up the hairpin but it was actually compromising his time quite a bit you can see how much time I'm able to gain through a majority of the corners here and at this point I'm really right up behind the back of them which I was really happy with so once again coming through the bottom right hander here just trying to get as close as possible because a lot of throttle control there as I said it was really slippy and you don't really want to just jam the power on because it does just cause the back end of the car to really slide up you can see here this Mickey Mouse section is the point in the track where I really was gaining the most time I was really taking a bit of a tighter line compared to the two drivers ahead and this meant I was able to really close up to them and get a better run coming into the bottom hairpin there again going over the two white dots there just to try and maintain as much speed as I could through the top section and taking a nice smooth line through the double hairpins here not quite gaining as much time as I wanted to on that lap but it still was a decent lap regardless you can see the other two drivers a bit squirrely on the exit there and that caused me to close up a little bit more we come across the line on this lap the 38.896 which was very close to my fastest lap of the race so I could tell I was on some decent pace at this point and as I mentioned before the Mickey Mouse section here really allowed me to close up I'm really on the back now of Sam Odie. he has a bit of a moment there going into the hairpin shaking his head not quite too pleased with that but I was able to really close the gap and obviously at this point I had actually left Arthur behind me I do check over my shoulder but this is where it all starts to get a bit funky here as Arthur's able to catch up there's a lot of holding up here at this point and I was unable to sort of just glide past as quickly as I wanted to maintain my pace so here I was just trying to look for an opening here I was hoping to work with Sam just to try and get past Darren who was ahead of him but you can see there taking a very narrow line there it's causing us both to really lose a lot of speed coming into this sort of section of the track which is why I feel like I caught up quite a lot and you can see there Sam doing that unconventional line once again almost going into the back of him by carrying a bit more speed than him and here up the ramp you can see just a little bit of a shaky shaky hand symbol there so really closing up behind him here and just trying to maintain my groove maintain my composure and try and look for an opening if one appears so really just holding my momentum at this point and looking for any opportunities I can seize taking a little bit of a wide line here through the bottom right hander to try and get a better run on the start finish straight come across the line there another 39.534 second laps you can see how much time and how much I'm being held up here a little bit of load in there a little bit too much speed carried through the corners but I was just able to maintain the space once again in a bit of a train now at this point and I think by being as slow as we were going behind Darren up ahead of Sam this did mean that Arthur was actually coming back into contention you see me there looking over my shoulder once again realizing that he's also hot on my heels so I realized I was going to be under a bit of threat here soon and Sam goes for a bit of a dive there down the inside and I was able to stick down the inside here a bit of wheel to wheel and a little bit of a 50-50 here and Darren goes a little bit wide and I did just force my way through there was no penalties given so I thought it was a fair enough move but it was a bit of an aggressive move across me there by Darren but it's all racing it's all a bit of fun so here just once again just trying to maintain on the back of Sam over here and this was in fact my fastest lap of the race so here you can see just trying to really close up behind him and maintain the position now as ahead of him is a lot of clean air which I thought would allow me to then catch up to anyone that was ahead but you can see that on the left hand side as we came round the right hander there that there's absolutely no one ahead everyone sort of sped away so it was really was a battle for the bottom four here but 
I was just trying to close up as much as I possibly could, trying to get as tight as I could to the apexes here, getting a decent run down the start finish straight. And we come across a line there at 38.894, which was in fact my fastest lap of the race. So I knew I had some decent pace. I wasn't able to capitalize on this anymore because as Sam realized pretty quickly, there was a lot of space in between him and the person ahead. So I believe he started to go quite defensive here which I was struggling to sort of race against. Obviously the carts were sort of feeling a little bit off, so it was quite difficult to actually gain a lot of time through these corners. So here, once again, just trying to maintain as much of time as I possibly can behind Sam here. He gets a bit of a better exit down the ramp, and I was just trying to tag along behind him, just trying to stay as smooth as I possibly could with my steering inputs and also on the pedals. Obviously any mistakes are going to be capitalised on the guys behind me that we've overtaken. You can see that Sam going really wayward into these corners, and it was due to the car. I have used that car before, and it just isn't up to scratch. It doesn't feel very good, and Sam takes a bit of a wide line here. I go down the inside and actually beat him to the apex, but unfortunately I just run a little bit wide there, having a little bit of a chat going up the ramp. But unfortunately I couldn't quite make the move stick so I had to slot back into 11th place. I look down the inside here for a bit of an audacious move and it does compromise us both. I say sorry to him, it was a really rough move, it wasn't a very good one. You <laughs> get a bit of a telling off. Um, but we do carry on here down the ramp and going into the bottom right hander once again. Just trying to try and look for another opportunity to make an overtake. Obviously it wasn't the best move for myself, I was expecting a bit of a penalty from that. But... I didn't actually get one, so I was quite happy that I wasn't able to actually land myself any penalties and instead was able to carry on having a bit of a race with Sam up ahead. You can see there again taking a bit of a funky line. It's able to allow me to catch up on a lot of time there going into the bottom hairpin, which I was quite surprised about. So once again, just trying to close up as much as I possibly can through the top hairpin so you can see how little grip he has going into the corners the back of the car, sliding out a little bit compared to my car which felt a lot more planted. I didn't have a reasonably decent car at this point compared to some of the others I've used. And you can see here going down the start finish straight, pretty much pushing him across the line there, 39.128. So really not as quick as we were earlier in the race with a bit of clean air being held up a bit, but just trying to focus on trying to make an overtake stick. And I was looking behind me there just to see if Darren and Arthur were catching up. We did have a little bit of a gap, but I just wanted to try and make sure I didn't make any mistakes and let the other guys back through while battling with Sam here. So he's taking a bit of a narrow line to try and defend. I was trying to capitalise on this a bit, just really closing up behind him here and trying to just stay as close as I possibly could without making any mistakes. So here taking a nice tidy line, but unfortunately messing up my exit a little bit there, losing a little bit of time, but a cart length, but we're able to gain it once again through the bottom right hander where my cart just felt a little bit more planted. We come across a line of 39.206, so again, very consistent. Losing the back end a little bit there through the first corner, and that caused me to lose a little bit of time, but really gaining it back through the Mickey Mouse section, getting a decent run here. Sam goes very wide once again and just switches back. So just try to play it safe here and just maintain on the back of him and try and get a decent finishing position in the top 10 rather than languishing back in 11, 12 or 13, which is realistically where I was going to end up for the whole evening with the cart parity as it was. So here once again, just trying to really close up behind Sam, I realised that he was holding me up quite a bit here, using a lot of racing knowledge here, he has a lot of experience, just trying to hold me up so the other guys behind me sort of try and make a move on me and he can sort of bolt away. So here you can see how slow he goes through the bottom left corner there on the first corner and I really didn't expect it to give him a little bit of a tap there. And again, just really trying to close up through the Mickey Mouse section. He was really wide there. And once again, just the amount of time I'm able to gain just from taking that line by extending the track is, is ridiculous. So, uh, Sam, if you're watching this, I, I don't know why you take that line, but it's really confusing to me. So, I was really closing up here a lot, just trying to really tag along behind the back of him here and just trying to stay as close and tidy as I possibly could. Again, going a little bit defensive here, getting a little bit of pressure from behind. So, Sam's tactic clearly working a little bit because it was holding me up enough where... The other guys behind me were starting to catch me and you can see that that is detriment to the lap time of 39.417 trying to get a nice clean exit through the mickey mouse section getting a nice run here tagging along on the back of him it goes really wide here i go for another move down the inside beat him to the apex but once again just don't quite get the brakes on enough to sort of park it on the apex so that caused me to lose a bit of time there and by going wide coming up the ramp that allows arthur just to sneak up the inside as well so instead of gaining the position i've instead lost the position you can see darren there just going for an absolute dive bomb on all both of us there and arthur looking over his shoulder we're a bit confused at that move that was a bit of an audacious one especially as all three of us were in a complete train but at this point i realized i'd lost a bit of time the race was coming towards the end so I was just trying to try and catch up to Arthur once again, try and make that move back that I'd lost because it's a bit of a silly move or a bit of a silly way to lose the position. Obviously, Sam's tactics sort of played into his hands there because he was able to slow me up enough where 
the other guys behind me were then able to throw me offline and it then meant that I lost the position so I was able to just really try and catch up here just trying to maintain my composure just trying to keep up with Arthur and Sam Sam holding up Arthur as well now looking over his shoulder so I knew there was time to be gained here we come around the bottom right hander once again going a little bit wide here and actually that was in fact the last lap of the race so we do finish the race in 12th position on track our last lap of 38.920 which was reasonably decent, almost one of our fastest laps, but it wasn't quite enough. We come around here, a bit of sportsmanship, which we love, a bit of a fist bump with Arthur, and then another one as we come up the ramp with Sam. A really good race, a nice bit of fun. I really enjoyed this last race. It was some good racing. Unfortunately, I couldn't make the move stick, but it is what it is, and we did have a good time at the back of the pack. However, this does bring us to the end of the video, so if you have watched this far, thank you so much, and please, if you haven't already, could you please hit the subscribe button it really does help me out and if you have enjoyed this video could you also leave a like down below on the video as always my socials are linked down below as well my instagram so feel free to follow me on there and keep up to date with what's going on i'll catch you guys in the next one take care